All right, let's get it on. Take care of some mobs. This here bandit. Stop, bandit. I can kite you guys all the way to death. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, son. You're gonna die. Yeah. There we go. Okay. It should be a rather leisurely trip for the rest of the way through Darkwood. Man, I do have a lot of money. <laughs> I've got a lot of money now. We gotta do something good with that. Uh, I think I've got an idea about it. We'll see when we get back to town. As soon as I'm done um, backtracking and making sure I've explored everything in this area. Alright. First of all, let's take physical shield off so we can actually... Oh, whoops, sorry, trainer. My bad. I'm sorry. Expressions. Alignment. Apologize. Assigned to this button. We need to actually have that equipped in case I do that again. Sorry. Hey? Oh, he's like, don't worry about it. All breakages must be paid for. Oh god, he really jacked up the prices on his stuff for me attacking him. Sorry. 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 We just apologize. He's, oh, I don't want to react to that. A hero saying he's sorry. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, there's a jet. People still calling us Arse Face. Totally deserved at this point, I'm sure. Switch back to our other setup. Take care of these here bandits. I want to try to get our physical skill up a little bit. When we get back to the Heroes Guild, I think we might have enough points to invest in another speed increase, which should be really good for us. Increasing our ball speed and our physical speed. But first, we have another demon door to deal with. Eat some meat. Talk to the demon door. Beware, traveler. I block the way to all but the most combat hardened. You've seen these scars? I am combat hardened. If you request, my guardians will test your metal in combat. And Meet I will kick their, their asses. And the reward I hide is yours. Big bong brain on. I see you are ready for your test. Very well. I got this. Guardians, attack. I don't even think we need physical shield. I'm gonna be able to take these things out so fast. Suck it. Eh. Typically only throw your physical shield on for quests, actually. Out in the wild, eh. I don't feel like I'm getting hit fast enough for it to really matter. And I do like having the passive regen while slow time is going. Because that's a lot of regen. There we go. Sometimes physical shields upkeep just isn't worth it. Oh god. Also having some traders around while you're doing this quest is pretty nice. They kind of... get in the way enough... that these hobs get distracted. And you don't have to fight all of them at once. Ow! Sir, I am quite unamused by that. No! Okay, there's gonna be another one spawning. Okay, these big ones that really hurt. Let's take them out pretty quickly. Cake! Eat the cake. Am I gonna hurt you? Shush! I'm busy. Stop freaking out on me. They all dead. You defeated my guardians. I am knackered. Go on. Get yourself through. Yeah. 
We is badasses. Of course, I'm not really going to use what's in so here. I just wanted to go ahead and do it for the Yay. experience and just saying that I've cleared a demon door. We are trying to get through all the demon doors, so... Bleh. Trying to be as optimal as I can about everything. Let's see... Darkwood Sanctum, we are rewarded with... Will users dark boots? Dark gloves. Upper robe. Lower robe. And that's all that. Alright. Now that we got all that crap... We're good. Let's head on through the marshes. Keep going. Keep it hot. Bandits! Suck it! Oh god. Eh! The only thing I don't like about the Cutlass is the range on it's really short. It does a fair amount of damage, but it does not have the range I like to have. When did I turn physical shield on? I didn't mean to have that on. I don't need physical shield for random bandits. Bleh. You guys are pansies. Suck it. What are you selling, by the way? Anything that I can buy from you? I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. Oh, a special offer for her, he says. Oh. Nothing good, honestly. There are more bandits around. There are a lot more evil tattoos than good yeah. tattoos, unsurprisingly. If I were evil, I would definitely be getting tattoos everywhere. But the only one we really need is Fire Monkey. Fire Monkey is the best tattoo. Eh. Okay. You guys have tested my patience. I was going to try to let you live, but you had to shoot me in the back of the face. That guy really hurt. Are these elite bandits? I think these are elite bandits. Ow! That one would certainly hit me hard enough to be an elite bandit. Okay, now we're fucking around. Physical shield on. What are you doing? Oh! You dead, son. What are you two doing over here? Hey, knock that shit off. I see you're not dead. I thought you were. Well, no. You flipped around pretty quick for being slow timed. Multi strike. Die. Die. No, you're not allowed to stand back up. No, no. Oh my god, if that one bandit killed me, I was going to be knackered. Oh, uh, that would have been unbelievable. He almost did. He had two good hits on me. That did plenty of damage. Alright. Let's check this chest. What's in here? Hell potion. Um. Fishing spots might be nearby. Yeah, no problem there. What's this guy selling? You carry the on I'm pleased to serve you. Kind of want my Yesterday, beard back, to be honest. I saw Twinblade, the leader of the bandits. That's nice. I don't You've care. Come to the right place. Maybe people won't recognize me from the Portello if I've got my beard back. Yesterday. There we go. Twinblade, That's a way better the look. Leader of the bandits. Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing any fishing spot. Mm, yeah. All right. Let's head back to Bowerstone because I think Bowerstone has the cheapest one. And before we go do some other side quests, we need to have some income because I feel like that's starting to hurt us. And now I have enough base money to actually be able to invest in something. So let's go over, I think, this way to this little, like, house icon up here. And we're not actually going to buy a house for us. We're going to buy a house to rent. And that will, um, I think, give us continual income over time, which is very important. 
Lovely marital home for a uh, thousand five hundred gold. Yes. Rent out this marital home. Yes. Okay. Improve the decoration of this house for five hundred gold. Yes. Improve. Improve. No. So it's maxed out in, with improvements. And it's renting. So that should provide us income over time. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Yeah, my bad. Uh, it wasn't that much money, but whatever. Okay. Cool. Now that we've got that, we're gonna go to Oakvale. And we're gonna try to do the same thing, because I think there's another house over there that is rentable. And then over time, basically, we're gonna have just income piling into our coffer. If I remember right. This is something I don't remember playing with very much in the first game, but later it'll be, it'll come into play a lot more, uh, I think. But as of right now, we really do need it. On heroic mode, just everything costs so much more that it's just, ugh, it's ridiculous. Okay, and now we have no money. But we have two places that are going to be generating a lot of cash for us. 